In this problem, we want to find the magnitude of the acceleration of a point on a spinning wheel. Now, there are a few things we want to figure out here. First, I want to figure out the period of the rotation. We're told that the wheel spins at 45 revolutions per minute, which means that in one minute, the wheel makes 45 turns, 45 revolutions. Now, the period is the amount of time it takes for the wheel to complete one cycle. And we want this in seconds. So, uh, so first off, the reason why I put time at the top here is because a period should be in time. But I also want to convert it from minutes to seconds. So I'm going to use a chain link conversion here, where one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So these minutes will cancel out. And a calculator will tell us that 1.333 repeated uh, seconds is what the period is because in one revolution it takes 1.333333 seconds to spin around in one revolution. So that's one thing I want to figure out first. Uh, the next thing I want to figure out is the radius of the wheel. We're given the diameter of the wheel but the radius is going to be more useful for us because most of the equations that we use in physics are based on radius rather than diameter. So we'll just have to take the radius that the problem gives us and divide it by 2. So that's 35 divided by 2. But another thing worth noting is because if we want our units to be consistent, we should try to keep everything in SI units. So the diameter is given to us in centimeters, but I'll want to multiply this by 10 to the power of negative 2 so that it's in meters. And if you put that into your calculator, you find a radius of 0 0.175 meters. So let's hold on to that for later. I also want to find out the speed of the point, the tangential velocity of the point. Now, because we're talking about rotational motion here, the speed of the point is going to be equal to 2 pi times the, the radial point, which we just found as r, divided by the period of the motion, which we found earlier up above. So if you put that into your calculator, using 0.175 meters for r and 1.333 seconds for uh, t, then we find a speed of the motion of about 0 0.8249 meters per second, something around there. So now we have everything we need. The magnitude of the acceleration, this is centripetal acceleration, is going to be the square of the speed divided by r. So all we got to do is take this value here that we found and substitute it in for v, so we square it, and then divide it by r, which as we discussed earlier is going to be 0.175 meters. So if you put that into your calculator, then you should get an acceleration of about 3.9 meters per second squared. And that's the answer to this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing, as that'll help me out in making more videos like this. And if you have any questions about this problem, leave a comment down below, and I'll do my best to help you out as best as you can. As best as I can, rather. If you have a request for a future video, or you would just like to hang out, I have a Discord server and a Twitch page linked in the description down below, so check those out if you'd like. But that's all for now, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.